This video explains how to get the difference between two dates in years using the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video, I will show you an example. And for this example, we first need to create two example dates, as you can see in lines two to six of the code. So in line two of the code, I'm creating our first example date, date one. And we can print this date to the bottom in the R Studio console by running line three of the code. And then you can see that our first date is the 17th of May, 2027. Now we can create a second example date in line five of the code, and we can print this date to the bottom in the RStudio console as well. And as you can see, this second date is the 1st of October, 2022. Now let's assume that we want to return the difference between these two dates in years. Then we can apply the functions of the loop redate package. And for this, we first need to install and load the package, as you can see in lines eight and nine of the code. I have installed the package already. So for that reason, I'm just going to load it in line nine of the code. And then in the next part of the code in line 11, I'm using the time length function in combination with the diff time function. Within the diff time function, I'm specifying our two example dates. And within the time length function, I'm also specifying the metric years. And then I'm storing the output of this in a new data object that I'm calling years diff. So if you run line 11 of the code, you can see that this data object is appearing at the top right. And we can print the output of this in line 12 of the code. And then you can see that our difference in years is 4.62423. So in this case, our data is not rounded. So let's assume that we want to return the difference in years with a rounded value. Then we can apply the round function to our year stiff object that we have created before. And I'm storing the output of the round function in another data object that I'm calling year stiff round. So if you run line 14 of the code, this data object is created as well. And we can print the output of this as you can see in line 15 of the code. And as you can see, this code returns the value five. So rounded our difference between the two dates is five years. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.